What will the response be from Cali Thistle? Derek Stilly gets there ahead of Stephen Hislop. What a chance this was. Good advantage because Totally was actually fouled there. As it comes in, John Robertson would have picked this Paul Richard to be in the end of it. He's central, he's got his choice, either left or right. And it's straight to Derek Stilly. Decent reaction save, but he should have scored. Up at the other end, Dunfermline did score. Veteran striker Craig Brewster. And Dunfermline are going to take off Gary Mason. And they're going to bring on Richie Byrne, although I don't think Mason is coming off actually. There's been a bit of confusion. Change of mind perhaps. And we'll do it now. but uh, looks like Jimmy Nichols nearly there and it's going to be Harry Dempsey rather than Gary Mason I think that was the plan it's going to be replaced by Richie Byrne who scored in the quarter-final victory over Pardick Thistle from Shamrock Rovers at the start of the season going to play left back Lee Bullen now coming across the right back Richie Byrne actually played left back in the first game of Hamden so major upheaval assistant in his ear there what are going on in the corner just tucked Paul Ritchie on his way through and that's why Kelly Thistle have this free kick which will be taken by Bingham and it's there you have to look for an equaliser Bingham oh it didn't work out Derek Young saw it coming and David Bingham will be lucky to escape the car for that He knew right away, David Bingham. I think it was worth giving away because otherwise the Fernland were breaking. Carried an awful lot of players forward committed. He knew exactly what he was doing. A glum look on the face of John Robertson who has guided Inverness County Thistle to the semi-finals of the Scottish Cup for the second successive season. He was coaching at Livingston before given, being given a chance in management. And Steve Patterson left to come here to Aberdeen. Lee Bullen turning it back to Derek Stilly. He's uh, studying to become a lawyer at the moment, is uh, the Dunfermline goalkeeper. Footballer and a lawyer knows where the money is. Derek Young. For Stevie Crawford.
important again. And Brown electing to punch. It's retrieved by Barry Nicholson. We're inside the last 20 minutes. Thompson. He's replaced the injured Russell D Duncan. It was a groin problem. Bobby Mann's clearance not so good. Here's Crawford. Bobby Mann. Clearing and Richie now helping it on to Keogh. Skipped away from Derek Young's challenge. Here's his lock. We kick for Tom Fernand and Skirla being involved. Yeah, there's, there's no one getting hurt here, but uh, Hugh Dallas has got no choice but uh, to produce a yellow. He needed a bit of help in the wide right position, Stephen. His lock totally isolated as, as it was played forward. That's a little tug. Stephen Hislop joins David Bingham in the book. Two quick yellow cards. <laughs> Keogh. Right in front of Kudas, who was taken out by Darren Young. Yeah, they've got to send Bobby Mann up this time. But for this type of situation previously, they've, they've sent Tokley up and they've kept Bobby Mann back. But they've got to get the two of them up now. Try and win the first ball. McCaffrey launching it in. Safely gathered though by Stilly. Instead to play the pass to the fifth to the Fairman pressing the ball well. Gotta give Cali Fiss a lot of credit here for backing the Premier League side up though. Very little to lose now. Well these two teams have uh, set an unwanted record tonight, the lowest ever semi-final attendance. Actually more than they expected, 5,358. Trying try and desperately to finish off Cali Thistle. But that'll take some doing. Cali Thistle have once again captured the imagination in the Scottish Cup. They have a habit of doing that. Here's Brewster though, trying to set it up for Nicholson. Quarter of an hour to go. Dunfermline heading for their first Scottish Cup final since 1968. Oh, they're coming to now and uh, both teams are going to make a change. Oh, I'm going to bring on a young defender. 
Jones, who came from Newcastle last year, but first of all, Cammy Thistle are taking off Paul Ritchie, who put them ahead tonight, just as he did in the first game. The 35-year-old is going to be replaced by the youthful vigour of Darren Mackey, who's on loan from Aberdeen, so playing on his home ground. And Gary Mason is going to go off now. He really had to leave a few minutes ago, but Aaron Levant comes on. He's an English lad, despite the name. Newcastle let him go. Keogh. What have Inverness Cali Fliss have got left in their tank? They can't have a great deal, Ian. I think they look pretty leggy, pretty tired at the moment. I don't know what they're running on, but uh, I can never accuse them of not making a game of it. The spirit really is terrific. And Mackey will give them that pace. Chance to knock it in behind. Brewster. Signs of frustration from the Dunfermline faithful who have travelled up to Aberdeen tonight. were hoping to set up a third Scottish Cup meeting in recent years with Celtic and of course they've already beaten them twice. Famous victory in Glasgow when John Barnes was in charge of the hoops. And last season when Martin O'Neill fielded a second string side at Inverness and paid the price. But as it stands at the moment it's going to be Dunfermline against Celtic in the final. Here's Barry Nicholson. Oh, he's skipped past Golovec. He might just go it alone. He does. Individual inspiration from Barry Nicholson. And Dunfermline are on the brink of a place in the Scottish Cup final. Well, they should have saved it for Hamden, and it's a goal fit to win the Cup final. We did say he's playing a more central role tonight, but he picks this up in a wide area away from Thompson, love a little nutmeg here and, and goal a bit, still got it all to do, checks inside, well he could have been tempted to blast it, but he's got the head up as usual Barry Nicholson, and he passes this into the net, what a wonderful goal. Well he was on the fringe of things at Rangers Barry Nicholson when they won a couple of Scottish Cups. He never made the 16 for those cup finals, but he was always part of the celebrations afterwards. Barry Nicholson has surely claimed a return trip to Hampden Park for Dunfermline. It's been a bold effort from Inverness Cali Thistle, but it's going to take a magnificent recovery from them now. And the Dunfermline fans are sensing that at last in this competition their time has come. And for the modern generation of Dunfermline fans, and maybe a couple of other generations as well, they don't really know what it's like to go to Hamden for a Scottish Cup final. 36 years they've waited. from Barry Nicholson has put Dunfermline in the comfort zone he got long odds against the team when he picked up a lot so many blue jerseys go say Crawford hounding McCaffrey 
Derek Young. Bobby Mann having to nudge that away from Crawford. From Fernand's throw. It's all going their way now. Would have been a remarkable story had Cali Thistle made it. First division team. A club that's only 10 years old. Space here for Cali Thistle to exploit. Bingham, though, has lost his way. I think he's beaten as much for the surface as anything else here. Cali knows a tall order now. You've got to give credit to the Fairman to come from a goal behind. It was hard enough to win a semi final without giving the opposition a goal at the start. They've done it the hard way. Jimmy Corder with finally going to win a semi final after five attempts as a player and a manager. It looks that way anyway. Component in the hunt for another. Craig Brewster's name being sung by the fans from Fife. Lee Bullen is going to rise for that. Goal kick. It was well defended by Bobby Mann. He was second favourite. Bullen was coming on to it. He was in the back foot. Good enough to make sure there was pressure on Bullen. Bullen coming blindside. Priceless challenge at this stage in the match. You know, we're totally got the energy to find himself up there. What a good tackle. Lithuanian used to play for PSV Einhoven. The man who signed him for PSV was one Sir Bobby Robson. Old Kolobek has managed to send it back to his keeper. Not for a moment, like it might hold up. McCaffrey. coming out and using his head in more ways than one. Here's his lock. <laughs> That's terrific goalkeeping by Derek Stilly there. Ball was tailor-made over the top by Mackie from David Bingham. Very alert to make sure he was sweeping there. Well, Inverness, Cali Fissler taking off Ross totally. They're going to bring on David Proctor, who was let go by Hibbs. Last year, I'm troubled by a shoulder injury for most of this season. Let's come off Bobby Mann, it'll be a corner. Cali Thistle rather weary now, with just over five minutes to go. It's to Fernlin's day. Price was going to play in at all.
Brewster. Bobby Mann got to that. Nicholson. It's turned into a pass of sorts. Offside now, though. That's a goal that uh, Barry Nicholson will remember for a long, long time. No shortage of players. Goal side when he gets it. It's away from Thompson. Not Megan Golobek. Young McCaffrey rather throws himself, but he's still got the presence of mind. The head's up. Just to pass it inside. Mark Brown on his left side. Well, Barry Nicholson giving everybody the run around there. Including his own teammates after it scored. Thompson. Bingham. Walter Fonin, the only Scottish team to keep a clean sheet against Celtic this season. That was on the opening day of the campaign. And they met them on the first day of the season. And it looks like they're going to meet them on the very last day in the Scottish Cup final. Richie Burns clearance. Hugh Dallas tried to make a tackle then. McCaffrey. Way by Scott Wilson. Now McBain. Can Cali Thistle set up a frantic final few minutes? It's gone away from Darren Mackey. For the time being. in and Bobby Mann adding some aerial presence as Cali Thistle commit bodies forward they have to just a couple of minutes of normal time remaining disappointing though from Proctor and time running out who's your man of the match David? Oh not for the first time I'm going for Craig Brewster again and every time I see this guy he's, he's almost like a manual on how to play the position of centre forward, target man centre forward, and again tonight, you know, when Dunfermline most needed him at a goal down, he was the guy who released Bullen on the, the left-hand side for the first goal, wonderful second goal. I think he's a worthy tenants man of the match tonight. like a lost cause all credit to them though for reaching the semi-finals of the Scottish Cup the second successive year it's away by Skirla Cammy Thistle still gunning for the first division title Keo. on time. Time nearly up for Inverness Cali Thistle, unable to pull off another memorable giant killing act in this famous competition. Beaten Celtic twice. 
twice in four years in the Scottish Cup. They've beaten Hearts, they've beaten Motherwell, but they are not going to get the better of Don Berlin. Still giving it a go, mind you. They're not going to get the chance, though, by the look of it, to get another crack at Celtic in the Scottish Cup. And it will, it seems, be a little top-line final. Keo delivers and Skurla commanding. And it's come through to Derek Stilly.